Hi everyone, welcome back to Will and Wake. Last time we made it to the meeting point with uh, the kidnapper, but that mysterious lady attacked him. Then I think she attacked us. And then we woke up in some weird place. I don't know exactly where, so a lot of questions. I don't know exactly what to expect today. So, that being said, let's go. So where exactly are we? Oh. Someone took care of us? Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling oh, you. better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Why, right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. <laughs> now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. Follow Dr. Hartman. What is happening? So, yeah, I recall now, it's been a couple of days, but as we woke up, we saw Dr. Hartman, we saw images of Alice, but we saw Dr. Hartman. So, yeah, makes sense we are in his clinic. Also, they let me write here, trying to be nice, I guess. Okay, I don't know what to expect. And who was that big guy behind him? Emerson. Do we know Emerson? Night Springs? What? The video game. It's a real thing? Or just... They're just yeah, kind of playing with the idea. Is there a game called Night Springs? Because I will play. Death Rally. I want to play Night Springs. Okay, his room is cool. This corridor is for patients. Looking Most intimidating. Of them are here right now, Jack took them out for a fishing trip, except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Huh. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. <laughs> Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. Uh-huh. This way, Alan. Is there a chance he means well and I'm just being paranoid now? What are you looking at? I want to see the other rooms. I cannot. Yes, I can see this one. Oh, well, he did talk about artists. Got a painter here. Canvases are flipped, so I cannot really see. Okay, let's go with it. Wait a minute, got more rooms. This one is locked. What's going on here? Ah, look at the bear. Oh, there's something so creepy about this picture. The view is nice and relaxing, but... Uh, I'm not sure about the inside of this place. <laughs> let's see. Okay, let's go. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. You so don't want to get I'm punched. I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Ah. Uh. 
That's very upsetting because what he says makes sense. And since it makes sense, it may be true. Which means Alice may be really dead. Oh, your I hope there's a twist. An and she's not dead. Fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. Damn. Well, one of my speculations was that it's all in my head, but I'm still not sure. We go this way, Alan. Maybe there's still I another twist. For another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's yeah, all it in your seems head. reasonable what You've he's saying. Making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation Look at the view. of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Damn. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. Yeah, that makes sense. Excuse me, I want to explore things. What is he doing in there? Playing hide and seek? I don't know. But you can't deny that view though. Why is he doing this with his hand this entire time? You got a condition or something? Not sure. Beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle illuminated. Thomas Zane, in the memory of a dear friend and a poet. What am I to make out of this? Beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle illuminated. In the memory of a dear friend and a poet. Who is the dear friend? I wonder. Ah, I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread bad. below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. A coincidence, Alan, or...? what I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. After all, Hartman I'm obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly you. inside my head. But I, can't I dug my nails into the myself. palms of my hands to stay focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Come along. Let's go inside. Uh, what is the chance that it's not the truth, what he's saying? We need to get to that coffee, by the way. Here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. What happened to his nose? Scary, Is it because of Alan or something else? Scary. <laughs> Emerson. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. <laughs> That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video games. Ooh, yeah. It's <laughs> trash, of course, but it does I'll involve some small <laughs> creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. I saw his room. You might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of Wait a minute, um, as soon as you feel up to I'm meeting the patients. And I want to get the coffee. Okay, I'll, I'll get back to the doctor. Um, The coffee was here. Cool paintings. Oh, what is this? Should I check it out? Wait a second. A beginning. A primordial forest. The colors of the fall. The mist. A caldera lake. Silence echoes. Loud. It's too late to hear the words. The man, naked, crawls to the shore. Like a birth? To say that would be a lie. Nothing like a birth. The opposite. He staggers to his feet. A carcass of a deer lies on the shore, rotting amidst driftwood. The man is afraid, beside himself. Who is he? He doesn't himself know. Dark waves have washed it away. A blank page where this horror story will be written. He remembers darkness, feels the shadow pressing down on him, coming after him. He must get away. He runs to the forest, to a fate worse than death. And there you are. Let's go. Got the coffee. Okay, the doctor probably worried about me, so... This one probably locked. Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. Huh. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. Interesting. Something tells me you're gonna need it later on. Okay, where's Hartman? Oh, what's going on here? Ah, the painter! Mm. Oh, Ooh, hello. scary! I've painted you! That's okay. me? I was just struck by inspiration a couple of days ago. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things, a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes them. He has them in his office. Yeah? He's very proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. I think I'm getting better. Well, even though very spooky, it's quite impressive. Well, I guess I'd better start wrapping this up. The storm is almost here. Look at that. I'd hate to be out there tonight. Yeah, something's wrong with the skies. Is this one open? No. Okay. Now we can go back to Hartman. Oh, oops. <laughs> Are you playing? Um, and those two, the guys I met in the bar? It's been so long ago, maybe I, I don't know, maybe I'm mistaken. Kind of reminds me of them, but I'm not sure. Can I talk to her? 
Staff probably locked. The Creator's Dilemma, the engaging new book by Dr. Emil Hartman, the author of the best-selling creative flow. His groundbreaking techniques in engagement therapy and the flow explained in his own words. Now available in bookstores across the country. More coffee, what do you know? It's a lot of caffeine. Okay, I'm finally here. Wait a minute. Welcome to Cauldron Lake Lodge. We are here to give you the specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ensure they don't interfere with your therapy and or periods of creativity. Also, please respect your fellow patients' need for privacy and personal space, especially when they're engaged by their creative process. Yeah, I feel like I was uh, a bit nosy actually, so far. Be patient. Typically, our patients have long-term creative problems and they won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take the time you need. Bear in mind that you are voluntarily receiving treatment that has been specifically tailored for you. Engagement therapy and its sister method, the flow, work best when you are actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to voice them. Gotcha. I'll try all the locked doors. What? There's a manuscript there. Why is it locked if there's a manuscript? Stop staring at me. <laughs> My rheumatism is killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm. That springs the bird I game. Are you serious? Place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers. Odin and Tor. They had a... How should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. Ooh. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. Oh. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Uh. Oh, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. <laughs> oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has They no sure clothes. dressed like rockers. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> yeah. Ouch! <laughs> Zane! You're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's I'm Thomas Zane? The, farm. the Anderson Farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. Why are they call me Zane? Up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. <laughs> I know, right? Thomas Zane, right? An assistant. Well, they referred to me as Zane, but my room said Wake. And I don't remember Hartman referred to me as Ellen Wake, right? It's my room, it said wake. Zane could feel the poems, taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. 
but there was fear too. If not for his young assistant Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He too had a way with words. Who is Emil? That's the first time we're hearing that name. Emil, huh? Got any booze on you? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, we have guys. a stash of the special stuff at the farm. Our own formula. Local ingredients. Medicine <laughs> clears your head right up. Make sure I like them. Like They're funny. Moonbeams on the brain. Oh, I just noticed leather patches on the elbows. That's not very rock and roll. Tom <laughs> just lost is all. Baba Yaga got to him too, the damn witch. She used us all, taken from all of us. Took my thunder, the witch. And my ravens, what was... Baba what Yaga, they? the boogeyman? Memory and thought, the hag. She took something from you too, didn't she? That's what she does. Um, well, or should I send the boogie woman? Place the lake, it gives you power. If you're a creator, an artist, hug go. Nightmare shifted in their sleep in the darkness of the lake. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. She makes sure it comes out twisted and wrong. Just ask the lamp lady. She knows what happened to that other rider. She's been using you, boy. And you let her. You went and opened the door for her, didn't you? Now, now, it was already open a crack. And whose fault is that? We're morally corrupt, disease-ridden, old and stupid. Doesn't mean he had to open it all the way, goddammit. Ah, uh, fuck. Wow, that dialogue was so, so tired. Built the farm close to the lake, a place of power. We had parties there, man. You, you should go there and have a party. That Bob Balder threw the amp through the window, hit that a hippie chick in the back of the head. Fifteen stitches of a concussion. Bob's dead now. Leukemia. Oh. Damn. Stitches, snitches, and narcs, man. Bad scene. I am tired, man. So tired. I, I, uh, I want to go home. Oh boy, feel better. I like those two. The dialogue was very interesting and I think um, filled with hints to the story. The power of the lake. What does that mean exactly? The other writer. And of course the witch, the Baba Yaga. So that would be maybe the lady, the mysterious lady in the in our nightmares. We feel like in this dialogue they revealed or hinted at least to so many things we are experiencing. That was interesting. Okay, let's uh, get back to our room. That's the objective now. I'm a bad dream and you can't wake up. You can't hurt a nightmare because all dreams are only imagination. They're only in your head and they're not there when you wake up. So you can't wake up because I'm in charge now and I don't want to disappear. My nightmare is the publisher people who want to make a contribution so they can say they made a contribution. And then we end up with mullets in there because they think mullets are funny, but it wasn't supposed to be about mullets. And now it's about mullets. 
mullets. And when it's in slow motion, they call it mullet time because the numbers came back from marketing that mullet time is the hook we needed to go big in the target demographic. And they're not even kidding. They say it all like serial killers with straight faces and smiles. My nightmare is the writers who want to make everything from the characters to the toasters talk, talk, talk all the time and express their feelings so they won't shut up and the writers won't shut up either because they have feelings too and I have to listen to them because they're not scared of me and everyone should just shut up, shut up, shut up. But I don't see nightmares anymore because I'm too scary for them. I take two pills oh. every morning and one with every meal and four when I go to bed and that makes me the scariest nightmare of all. Ooh. Well, good for you. I kind of lost him midway. It was a uh, how to keep track. Hey, Wake, why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? The typewriter's in your room. You can get to your room by those stairs, Wake. Yeah, I know. Um, The fact that you are talking makes you seem more human. You are very intimidating. Try this door, right? were locked. Hartman and the nurses would have keys, but there was no way to get my hands on them. Okay, to my room. That was an experience. Something's wrong. I'm not myself. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. She. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. It really feels like we are sort of losing it in a way, and it was all in our heads. But we'll see. We'll see. Well, this is my room. I'm back. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Oh no, we are diving into another nightmare. Hey, Wake, you stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? No promises. <laughs> I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Okay, investigate racket. I don't have the key for this, right? Okay, let's go down. Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. The keys. Oh, she was one of Hartman's Stop. goons. She Save had it coming. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd be keeping them. Come out and face the music, Perch. It's time to pay the Wait a minute. What happened to her? Maybe you could come out the hammer here looks to, scary, I but I don't see any blood, so I don't think she was attacked by the hammer. Perch. She's think she's okay she's uh we were but she's not okay man. but you think we haven't seen punks like i don't know <laughs> i don't think she was attacked with a hammer but that's the yeah, first you thing you think because you see the hammer next to her will break you. he's probably kidding birch he's got a great sense of humor just ask sinclair Oh. Children of the Elder God, scourge your light, light upon the dawn. <laughs> what was the name of the band? Something of Asgard? Okay. Oh. 
Oh, wait a minute. Uh, now I can uh, use that generator or something? He said something about a key missing. No, it's not the same key. There was a manuscript here? Oh! There you go. Barry in the I lodge. Talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practice hand on Barry's shoulder. Yikes. It's like his muscle, huh? So Barry's here? I saw another manuscript. Where was it? I was not able to reach. Because it was locked. Don't remember exactly where. Um... Was it over here? Oh, it's lag this time. I don't know, I don't remember exactly where it was, but I remember there was a manuscript I wasn't able to take. Okay, let's go to the doctor's office. The photo on the wall caught my attention. In it, the, the kidnapper was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Yeah. Hartman had been playing me all along. Oh. Do you think it proves that Hartman was lying to us? Still not sure. Let me out of here! Hartman, do you hear me? That's Barry. Do your crazy quack ass to shred. Seriously, do you have any Barry? idea how Ow! About time! Barry! He locked you here? Man, I'm glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no! The cops found me at Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such. Or else I'd sue their asses. Speaking of asses, that fed gave me a real hard time, but I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy, Al. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up, but when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. What's... what's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. That'll teach her. Yeah, that's a harsh punishment. Come on, pal, we gotta get going. So... Okay, Hartman is definitely bad news. I don't know if Ellen wakes imagining things or not, but calling Barry here to pick Ellen up and then locking him here? It's so messed up. Now before we we'll go investigate his room, what's going on here? The markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made at the sessions with his patients. Oh. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. Play. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? He's more and more out of control all the time. The parties, he's so angry all the time. He's getting violent. He's... Do you mean with you? No, not with me. No, never. I... Sometimes I almost wish Alan would take a swing at me. Because at least that'd lead to a conversation he couldn't just march out of. But no. He just, Alan doesn't really sleep. And the work, well, he's not writing. At all. He sits there for hours and just gets more and more frustrated. And I can't talk to him. Yes, tell me, Mrs. Wake. What would you say to him if he'd listen? <sighs> I don't know. I want to say, I look at you, and it's not you. Just some stranger who resembles you. Looking out from behind your eyes. And I don't like that guy much. And now it's all gonna go to hell. But you don't ever say this. No. No. I've tried, but he's not listening. 
He's too deep in his own problems. Always going mm. on about something else. I'm so afraid I'm gonna lose him. And we're not even talking anymore. He doesn't let me in anymore. He just keeps me in the dark. I'm so alone here. Damn. He's home. Please help me, doctor. Because I'm at my wit's end. Well, if you can just get him here, I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, but doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just going to listen to you and cooperate. He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Yeah. Worst of all, makes sense. I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut up of this. Just yeah. a recording. Yeah, yeah, it was sound so fake. It was obvious. It was either a cutout or someone was, uh, I don't know, faking it. Uh, wow, this painting of the wolf. Look at that. It's insane. That made me feel so many things to hear her voice again and, uh, you know, kind of upset about what she's going through. That's why Ellen feeling guilty. But the same time, wow, Hartman really did a number on us. Really did a number on us. That's insane. I'm starting to think he's a psycho or something. You got here. Mott fails Hartman. Hartman wasn't happy. Mott could see it in his eyes. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it, and he knew it. The shame of failure was hard to bear. He hadn't expected Wake to say he needed more time and he blurted out two days, less than Wake had asked for to show him who was in charge. But that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. Two days. The deadline for the manuscript. So yeah, yeah, Hartman was working with the kidnapper. What, what the freak? Is this also in our heads or is that really what's going on? Because Barry's right here and we're talking to him and he seems normal. Well, Barry's normal. Um, you know, it's it feels very real. Like the nightmares and the reality kind of combined and you need to try to make the best out of it to understand the story. It's so crazy. I feel like Hartman really did a number on us though. Okay, Barry, are you ready? Let's go. What will we find? A gun? These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the- Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Ooh. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. Cut the crap. You have no idea. Hartman, what... shut up. Barry, yeah. get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful. With your ability and mine. The shadow took over him. <laughs> That's Max Smile. I think you're gonna fight Hartman now. I had to find a way out. Wait a minute, we got manuscripts. Hartman watches Wake Hartman fall. Hartman followed the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning, even in the water. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking, something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within his reach. Oof. Damn you, Hartman. He was leading us on this entire time. Okay, uh, skip the clinic. Let's try. I don't have a flashlight. That's bad. 
Oh, damn. Okay, I think it's closing on us. Please, do it fast. Oh, I need to hold it? Oh! Okay, I see, I see. Okay. Oof. Not from here. Damn. I needed light to get the possessed bookshelves out of my way. Oh! I know, I know, I know. Let's go to the second floor. Ouch! That was my face! Look at the bear. The floating bear. There it is. Yes. Ooh, nice. Keep going. Keep going. Damn it, missed. Oh, man. Oh, I stink. That's it. There you go. Let's see if it will be enough. Ouch, maybe not. Oh, God. Okay, 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 it's not enough. No, I'm getting killed here. I need more. Keep going. Would that be enough? I don't think so. Let's try again. Okay, I think that's it. I think that's it. Try to make the best out of it. And I'll try to take some cover. I think you cannot clear the entire room from those. Holy cow! Okay, run, 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 run. Go! Not from there. I'm not sure what I need to do. Okay, let's do this again. I'm quite confused. Oh, what am I doing? There you go, focus. Where am I going from? Oh, the cabinet maybe is blocking some path. Again. Yeah, I think the cabinet was blocking a door. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, wish me luck. Run! Go ahead! And Oof, not like that! This way. Oh! Shiza! Oh! Nice! Got a flare, that's a start! This way? That's where I came from. Uh. Maybe... Yeah. Okay, I see. 
There you go. That's the manuscript I think I was not able to get before. Hartman knew he was no creator. He had no ambitions on that front. And he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here, damaged in ways that were hard to describe, or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction, to be a producer. That was what most of these people were in need of anyway. Of course, suitable subjects were few and far in between. He took advantage of everyone. He's such a sick man. He's such a sick man. Okay, from here. I can hear something, but I cannot see. It's another episode of Night Springs! Wait a minute, let's try to listen to it. There you go, I was waiting for it for so long and now I can barely hear it. I'm trying to hear it. Ride, Mark. I'm so glad to be leaving this place. I have no idea. What, Night Springs? Come on, Linda. Relax. It's not that bad. Hey, what's that up ahead? Oh, God. There's someone in the road. I love this show. Are you all right? I can barely hear it. Bye, Mark. Oh, God. No, please. God, no. Linda. Linda. Thanks for the ride, Mark. I'm so glad to be living in this place. What, Night Springs? Come on, Linda. Relax. It's not that bad. Hey, what's that up ahead? Oh, God. There's someone in the road. It's the same thing. They're meeting the guy that. Oh no, Linda! Oh no! It was me on the road! Yeah, it's the same thing. Wait! Tell him to watch out for the truck! Watch out for the truck! My it's going in loops? And there you have it. A vicious cycle, brutally punctuated by the blast of an airport and screaming metal. Many roads are dangerous, but none more so than the one that leads away from. Night Springs. I got another episode finally. It was very difficult to hear it and we did not have an image, but it was worth it. Oh my god. That's scary as hell. Um, thank you. How do I escape you, though? There you go. Uh, uh oh. Okay. I got out. Oh, great. Uh,. I may need you again. Get over here. Ooh. You see this door? How about you give me a hand? Ah, let's try again. Thank you. Barry, you're okay. Ah, there's a coffee. One second, Barry. Suspended. Lauren Miller. We gotta get going. 
89. Yeah, yeah, one, one second. I want a coffee. Nice. I know, I know. <laughs> Just look in, maybe there are more manuscripts. You never know. I found the car, but the gate's locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there. Barry, oh. I don't have a light. Take this, Al. You're a good friend. Oh, God! Look at the house, Al! Look out! Oh, no. Wow, damn. Crazy. Not again. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm dying. Yeah, that's me. So dead. I need to take the coffee again? Yes. Maybe I should just make a run for it and not face those things. Cause, uh, I don't know. You said the maze. That's the maze over there? I found the car, but the gate's locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there. Barry, I don't have a light. Take this, Al! You're the best. Oh god! Look at the house! Oof, that was close. Okay, I can take cover behind those poles. Yes. That's how we do it. There you go. Okay. There's more coming at me. There's the gate. Ah, okay, I need to open it this way. Okay, made it through. Okay, got some batteries and flares, that's good. Okay. Whew. I don't know if I'm that good in those mazes, but let's try. Gives me the shining vibes. Ow, Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying. Got company. Still got it. <laughs> More batteries. Good. I heard you. Don't trust Emil. Oh. So Emil is not trustworthy as well. Gotcha. Manuscript. Wake sees the old god's stage. I stamped the Viking paraphernalia that littered the area, surrounding an unlikely centerpiece. A full-side stage complete with an impressive sound system with all the trimmings, including a dragon. It took a special kind of crazy to build something like this in a remote field. When the sky split open with a deafening boom and the music started blasting, it felt strangely appropriate. I'm not really sure what he's referring to here, but I have a feeling I'm gonna find out soon. He said something about a dragon, about a viking. Good. Munition and batteries. We do need that. I can hear them as well, Barry.
There you go. Dead end. All right. Oh, jeez. Oh! I was close, it kinda got me cornered. I was uh, lucky there. Totally got me cornered. Not sure where from, I'm just going with it. Hell yeah! Hartman and the power failure. Hartman hurried down the corridor. He had disliked leaving Wake when he was surely at his most susceptible to therapy. But this was not an ordinary storm. Wake had been riding, and he had woken something up in the depths of the lake. Now, it was coming for him. Hartman had naturally prepared for a situation like this. The idiot brothers would keep Wake distracted while Hartman double-checked everything, just to be sure. He really had it all planned out. But we are definitely ruining his plan as we should. Who's that? I made it out. That's good. More ammunition. That is great. The birds! You know how I thought it was a bug? It was the flashlight that making them freeze? Still looks like a bug, I don't know. Oh, you! Oh, you brought friends, didn't you? Alright, let's do this. Ouch! Gotcha! Damn it. Oh, are you serious? Damn, I did not expect that. Okay. I see how it's going. I see how it's going. You get two pills in the morning and then you'll be nice. Oh, you get three pills in the evening. Shut up. Give me this. Oh, flare gun. Yes. Is he dead? Hell yeah. The flare gun. Game changer. Nice. Very nice. But now, as I go down, more will come, I remember. Let's see if we got something here.
No. Okay. Okay, more will come now, right? Yeah. Yo, X-Men. Stay back. Yeah, gotcha. Let's see what we got around here. Not much. This entire clinic section was phenomenal so far. It was so good. The way they played with your head and convince you that maybe something wrong with Wake. Even though, again, twists may still come, but it was really well written. Hell yeah. He got a shotgun. And the manuscript. Martin Charge. Martin knew that Wake was smarter than him. Wake had more money, a beautiful wife, everything. And Hartman said Wake was important. That made him better than Mott. But Mott was calling the shots now. He'd expected Wake to whimper and grovel, but instead, he seemed willing to fight. Mott knew he'd gotten under Wake's skin. If only Mott actually had his wife. The thought made him shiver. So where is Alice exactly with that old lady, right? So Hartman said Alice is really dead. That was a lie. Everything Hartman said probably was a lie. But Alice is not with Mott, actually. As actually, I did figure it out by now. So the only option is with that strange lady that we keep seeing. Alice is with her. And she's alive. Okay, what else we got? I think that's it. Let's go through the gate. This area is kind of intimidating. Checking everywhere I can. Oh my god! That came out of nowhere. Yo, chill. I needed to chill. Hell yeah. Didn't even use the shotgun. Okay, pushing forward. Proceed to the garden. Left or... Oh. Easy choice. Let's take this first. Oh no. Oh no! Crazy. That was insane. Bye bye gate. Okay. Continue another manuscript. Barry attacked by attacking. Oh no! Moment, Barry was just glad he had survived the fall. He had been separated from Al, and there was no easy way to climb back up. He told himself he'd be okay, okay in the gloomy forest at night. He would just have to wait for a while for Al to find his way down. Barry turned when he heard the heavy footsteps and saw the movement. The man-shaped shadow lunged at him from the bushes, an axe held high. Barry screamed and threw up his hand. The world exploded. Is Barry about to die? No, that will be so upsetting. Please no. Oh, I'm really worried now. Damn.
Please don't die, Barry. Oh my god. Jesus. I see you. They really surprise you here. And they're fast. Yes, found something. Found something. Yeah, let's go. Sweet. Okay, guess we're going up. A lot of good stuff, thank you for this. There's Barry. Wait a minute, another manuscript. There's a chance that Barry won't die, please. Hartman watched as Wake's features slackened. The man was bullheaded, no doubt. Even lying on the bed, he'd almost broken Hartman's nose the second time. But with a little mm. time, he could break Wake down, give him proper direction. Wake was easily the most promising subject he'd had. Well, since Tom, really. Sleep well, Alan. Since Tom. A smile. Mm. Let me take care of you. He sniffed hard to clear his throbbing nose, swallowed blood, and barely tasted it. Man. That Hartman is so insane. Barry! You gotta survive, Barry. Ow! You're alive! Let's get out of here. Can Please you switch out. Gate? Maybe. Barry. Uh, well, I slammed it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of. Loose in the lock, so, uh... No, 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 no! I'll find it! Don't worry about it! No! Oh, we're surrounded! Hurry up, Mary! I'm on it! I'm on it! It's Right here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ouch. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> okay. Let's try something else this time. Let's try. The flare gun. Hurry up, Barry. I'm on it. I'm on it. Oh, you're right here. Gotta be here. Just hang on now. Let's go. Who's next? I see. This one throwing stuff. Oh, that was close. Damn. You found it? Come in. No, too late. Too late. <laughs> Rough. Rough. Oh, that's a bit of a mistake. It's gotta be here. Just hang on now. Oh, 
Where are they? Don't come at me! Found it. Oh! It's not it! Oh, damn it! Oh, no, no, no! Out, 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 out! That was close. Okay. Wow, that was... That was something. Al, please tell me we're headed for the nearest. You're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, son. I'm glad you brought we're that in the backseat. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm gonna <laughs> live in it. <laughs> Promise. So Barry survived? That manuscript sounded as if he's dying. I'm crazy, but that's fine, Barry. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest- But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Al, how can you know that? I know, Barry, I can- Al, I- No, listen, I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before, it happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down, that's a fact. I'm on board, man, I'm with you. The Andersons okay. knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. Something's you coming. need to find it. Look out! Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's very bad. Ow! Okay, we survived. God damn it, Al, talk to me! Barry? Checkpoint I reached. My gun in the crash. Of course. Barry is nowhere to be seen. Find Barry. On it. Here's another oh, thought. Man, you're okay. Jeez, it's good to hear your voice. I'm Where are you? I cannot see. Car, but the ground gave way. Man, what a drop. Don't worry, your cutout is fine. Forget that. Are That's okay? what the manuscript described. Barry falling, no then he's crack. happy to see that There's Helen no is back, but it's then. Like sheer wall. Oh, I'm worried. Oh. No, 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 no. Why can't I run? Yeah! Barry, are you alright? <laughs> I'm good, Al. I'm great. Guess you never mess with anyone from New York City. Why can't I run fast? You're gonna have to find your way around to the farm, Al. I'll be waiting. Okay, so Barry survived that Barry, encounter with the Taken, okay? so that means he's okay? Oh, the game is turned with me. Now he's Rambo. <laughs> this would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. Okay, so Barry survived that encounter with the Taken. I'm relieved a little bit. Now, what I was about to say... What if... Um... Yikes. What if Alice is... Gone or kidnapped, uh, but... There is a realistic and logical explanation to everything that is happening. So basically things are really happening, but 
the way we are experiencing the game, it's in a metaphorical way. So all those shadows and unnatural things are not really happening. They're just a metaphor for real events that are happening. Another speculation, who knows? Just had to share my thoughts, my very unclear thoughts. I don't have a flashlight, come on, come on. But I have this, I have this, I have this. It's not that great of a help. Oh man, okay, that's not good to stay here. Oh, come on. Oh my god, I'm destroyed. My head got crushed. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rake. What well, I'm putting you through. You know, to be fair, you're not in good shape, so it makes it difficult. Okay, here we go. Ow, oh, already? <laughs> oh, you poor thing. Maybe I should try and go over here? Is that a manuscript? Oh, come on. How am I gonna survive this? I'm already dying. Yes, it is. Okay. TM? Let's have a read and relax for a when second. the car at the Anderson farm, Walter felt relieved. Oblivion was close at hand. The brothers wouldn't miss a jar of moonshine or two in the booby hatch. But then he saw the man on the porch, and he knew who it was. Driving for his life and knowing it was useless, he didn't realize he was crying until he couldn't see the road for the tears. Anderson Farm, Walter felt relieved. The money on the porch? Uh, I'm not sure what they're talking about here. When he stopped the car at the Anderson Farm, Walter felt relieved. Okay. I'm not exactly sure what they're referring to. Okay. I have to take cover behind things. Like this. Okay. The tree. Oh no. Oof. Oh, that's my head. That was my head. The tree. I needed to be in better shape, Ellen. Thank you, tree. That was close. Oh, there's more. Oh my god. Mm. How am I gonna survive this? The trees. The trees. Good one. Ah, if they fall, it's over for them. Interesting. Okay, it's stuck over there. Let's, let's just go. Where am I going? This doesn't seem like it's the way. Damn. I feel like I'm in the wrong direction. I went in circles. This is so bad. Oh! I see the stairs. Okay, okay. Maybe I found something here. 
It is so challenging with that flashlight. I got a coffee? I got it. <laughs> I was getting killed for that coffee. Oh no. Wait a minute. I've been here as well. Ah. What am I missing? Where exactly am I supposed to go? Okay, let's follow... Let's follow the yellow dot. Let's here. This way? I think so. Okay, I think we make progress. Oh, okay, cross. What is this? Shadows crawled over the gate. I needed a light to destroy them to get through. Um. What do I do? Turn Paul? Ah, I see. But I need to turn it on. How do I turn it on? Uh, okay, we got the manuscript. Uh, Nightingale arrests Wade. Stared at the past mm. outrider. The man was sleeping off one hell of a night. Nightingale felt a stab of envy at Wake's oblivion, but he had a job to do. He put the gun to Wake's head and almost became a murderer. His hand shook and his throat felt tight and dry. Biting his teeth, he tried again to pull the trigger. He lost the nerve. Wake stirred. Nightingale would have to settle for an arrest. So Nightingale again trying to kill us. I hope there'd still be a working generator somewhere around here to power right up here. the old lights by the gate. Right here. Hell yeah. Let's see if we got something around here. Nope. Can really use a flashlight, you know? Just saying. Sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy yes. without a weapon was dangerous, but I had yes. no choice. Trust no one in the dark. We've read that before many times. Okay. Get to the farm. Let's go. Things are coming. Ah, no. Look, I have a flashlight, but I have no weapon, so let's go easy. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Damn you. One second. Do you mind? Damn. Couldn't you just give me a second to do that? So selfish. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. Let's go there fast. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, damn it. Do you mind? Okay, never mind. Let's just go. I have no batteries, nothing. Boom! A light source. Hell yeah. Huh. 
They're still throwing stuff. Okay. Phew. A car was driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all huh. I knew, it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. Stay safe, Barry. Please. Heavy duty flashlight, let's go. Now we're talking. Some batteries. And a coffee. Okay, okay. Getting more comfortable a little bit. A little bit. Careful there, Barry. The car was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. Oh my god, I'm worried. Yeah, that's my heavy duty flashlight. What? I'm trying to deliver each page to the right time and place. I'm trying to show you how the story goes. Zane, is that you? Give me that. I'd seen glimpses of the light before. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. Is that Zane? The dark presence at large. The dark presence followed the choreography laid out to it in the manuscript, growing stronger and stronger, moving like a storm from one scene of destruction to the next. But it was still bound to follow the story and chain to the dark place it came from. When the story reached the end it longed for, it would finally be free. When the story reached the end it longed for, it will be free. So... Kind of needs me to complete the story. To help him be free, huh? That's what I'm understanding from this. Oh no, the traps. I thought it's a manuscript. Okay, let's watch out. Oh, there's a lot. So many. There you go. I got to the farm. Let's do this. And we have a shotgun. Someone had left a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. Yeah. A lot of ammo. They take in our field with darkness. That makes sense. Can do it now. How do I get to the coffee though? Oh, I missed this. The patients escape the, the lodge. Dawn as the Anderson brothers walked unsteadily away from the clinic with the other patients in tow knowing that this time they wouldn't return. The darkness around them seethed with horrors, but Tor and Odin were unafraid. Their eyes glinted with guile. They knew every secret path, and there was blood on their hands. They had fought these shades before. Oh. They did, huh? How do I get to the coffee? Let's see, there's another way to climb. Yeah, there you go. Oh, hi! Very good shotgun. Thank you. Okay. On our way to the farm. Checkpoint reached. We're gonna call it an episode today. 
as we are heading to the farm and I don't know what to expect anymore. This uh, game got so many twists and turns and so many things happening, but we have hope that Alice is alive. The hope is again revived after we understood that um, Hartman basically was uh, full of BS. <laughs> you know, it was just lying to manipulate us and take advantage of Alan's creative skills as he has done with other patients, which is so messed up. This character is so disturbing, this Hartman, very disturbing. We know that Mott doesn't have Alice, so everything points towards that mysterious lady. And uh, I'm starting to think that maybe Thomas Zane's spirit kind of leading us as we go through this story, because he wants to be free from the darkness and this is the same story that he's experienced with uh, Barbara, was her name, I think? So he needs us to complete this story, this parallel story, to be free. I have so many guesses regarding the explanation of the story. And uh, that's part of the experience, as the game said at the beginning. It's not about the answer, it's about the experience. So I think that's okay that I don't know so many things. Uh, the confusion it's part of it and gives you more uncertainty that helps the horror vibe in a way. So yeah, really enjoyed today's episode. The clinic section was so well written, the way they messed with your head and everything then became scary there. Loved it and I'm looking forward to continue. I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching.